Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with create a team meeting action as part of Microsoft Teams. Before that, let me switch to Microsoft Teams. To create a meeting in Microsoft Teams, we'll go for the calendar and there you will find two actions such as meet now and new meeting. In Microsoft Teams, we can easily create a meetings with our contacts. We can create instant meetings when we want to start the meeting by using meet now or we can create a scheduled meeting to share with our contacts by using new meeting. All right. What is the purpose of this creative meeting? By creating a meeting, we can start shorting with the participants with the particular agenda or to share the files that we need them to review and to keep the track of the meeting notes and to do things. All right. Now, let me show you how to create a meeting by using Power Automate Desktop. There, we are going to use the action called Create a Meeting Action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to create a meeting with the link at the bottom of the invite. Join the meeting online on Teams. Now, if you see the parameters of the Create a Team Meeting, first one is the calendar ID. Now, this meeting we are going to create for the birthdays or US holidays or the calendar. Right? Let me click on the drop down over here to see the options. There you can see I'm having birthdays, calendar and United States holidays. Now, as part of this tutorial, we will try to learn how to create a meeting in the calendar. Right? Let me select the calendar. And then the second parameter is the subject. What is subject of this creating a meeting? So I'm going to create this calendar to meet with my team for the daily sync up. In such a way, I'm going to give daily sync up call. All right. And the time zone, you can see the third parameter is the time zone. I'm going to keep this meeting in Indian standard so that I'm going to click on the drop down over here and there I'm going to search for India standard. There you can see I'm having the time zone India standard time. I'm going to select that. And if you see the fourth parameter required attendees for this meeting, who are the mandatory attendees over here so that I'm going to give the names over here as Patti Fernandez. And then for the another attendee, I'm going to give the semicolon. Whenever we are going to add multiple attendees over here, there I'm going to use semicolon and then I'm going to give their email ID over here. So in my required attendees, I'm having Patti Fernandez at the rate of M365 dot on Microsoft dot com. Another one I have given semicolon over here that is Ishael at the rate of M365 dot on Microsoft dot com. There you can see the another parameter that is optional attendees. There if you want to give any attendees over there in that case, you are going to provide the attendees or if there is any member is there, then I'm going to provide it the optional attendees over here as Megan B at the rate of M365 dot on Microsoft dot com. All right. Now the another parameter is the message. What is the purpose of this meeting? I'm going to provide the purpose of this meeting such as dear all. This meeting is scheduled to discuss about our daily works. Thanks project manager. All right. So I'm just going to information about this meeting over here. Now this meeting when to start and when to end in a such a way I will provide the start date and end date over here. The date format, if I give it there, you can see this is the year 2024 and after that the month 03 and when the start date, I want to be starting from 11th, that is 11th date and then I'm going to give the format in such a way T number of hours at the, at the hours 10 a.m. So I'm going to give 10 that is under one is the minutes under one is the seconds. All right. In the same way that the meeting has to be there for half an hour. In a such a case, I'm going to provide 2024, 03, and then I'm going to provide date, that is T, and the time format, I'm going to give it as 10. So 30 minutes is the duration of the meeting, right? So that you can see over here, 10, I'm going to start 10 a.m. and then I'm going to end at 10.30 a.m. for half an hour. And the next parameter is the days of the week. This meeting has to be scheduled on the particular days. So what are the days that I want to keep it? 
So that day, so I'm going to provide by clicking on edit. And I'm going to provide the list of items over here, such as Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. These three days, I'm going to schedule a meeting. All right, let me click on OK. Now, these are the basic parameters to schedule a meeting. Now, we are having the advanced parameters over here. Let's click on the advanced over here. There you can see the importance over here. So how much importance is that for the particular meeting, such as low, normal, or high? I'm going to select high. And the another parameter is all day event. Is this the meeting is all day event? No, this is for half an hour, right? So that I'm going to make it as false. And the next parameter is the reminder. So this meeting has to be reminded for 15 minutes earlier. So that I'm going to provide the number over here in such a way, 5, 10, 15, and so on, whatever the things is required. So in that minutes format, I'm going to give it just the number I'm going to provide. And the ease reminder on. So yes, I'm going to make it as true. And this show as whenever the meeting is available in such cases, I'm going to show it as tentative or the options that I will see. You, you can see over here, free, tentative, busy, out of office, working elsewhere, unknown. So I'm going to make it as busy. And based on that, if the request has been sent to the particular members over there are the required attendees or the optional attendees, in such cases, I'm going to respond at request. What kind of response is required? So if they want to respond, then in that case, I'm going to make it as true or false. In my case, I'm going to put it as true over here. Now, you can see the location over here. Sometimes we are having the room meetings. In such cases, I'm going to give the location over here as on call or I'm going to give the location as India. This is the location where you want to put it up, right? The next parameter is the recurrence pattern. Recurrence pattern, you can see over here, it's a daily, weekly, or monthly. So as per our discussion, this is the daily meeting for every alternative days. So that I'm going to make it as daily. And the number of occurrences, so I'm going to make it as two occurrences over here. And the week index, at the another parameter there you can see i want to keep it first second third fourth and the last week i'm going to make it as optional over here and then if you see the parameters recurrence start date so this one has to be daily it has to be happen and if you see every monday wednesday thursday it is happening how long it has to be happen i'm going to give the starting date over here such as i'm going to give year and then I'm going to give the month and then I'm going to give the date format, right? That is and the day format. There you can see that is a start and then recurrence end date. I'm going to give it as Y, 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 Y and then month MM and then date, right? That is DD format. That is, I'm going to give it as 31. All right. And then we are having the default timeout to respond for the creation of the team meeting all right now all the parameters have been given as expected by the created team meeting action now let me click on save now before going to run this flow let me go back to the microsoft teams as of now i don't have any meetings for the 10 a.m right once i will run the desktop flow it will create a meeting particular days which we have provided in create a team meeting action all right let's run the flow to see the output Flow execution started to create a meeting in Microsoft Teams by using Microsoft Power Automate desktop action. Flow has executed successfully and the response for the created Teams meeting action, it has been stored inside the variable that is create Teams meetings response. Before going to that, let me switch to Microsoft Teams. There you can see a meeting has been scheduled successfully in the Microsoft Teams. All right. If you see the output variable that is create Teams meeting response, first property is the O data context, another one O data e tag, another one is the ID, when it has been created, when it has been modified, and there we are having the categories, original start, start time zone, that is we have given India standard time, and the end time also. End time zone also we have given as India standard time. 
and there the reminder I have given for 15 minutes is reminder on it's true has any attachments false and the subject you can see over here daily sync up and the body preview that I'm having the message which I have given and the importance I have given it as high sensitivity is normal and the event is is all day it's a false is cancelled also it's a false and the organizer is true and the response requested yes it is true and the main thing you can see over here show as busy and the web link over here and if you see the important one is the web link to join the meeting there you can see i'm having outlook.office this way and the item id it has been provided is this online meeting yes it is true and there you can see online meeting provider that is theme for business and you can see the start date end date has been provided over here such as 10 10 2024 that is 10 a.m and then location i have given it as india and the recurrences that you can see interval of two on the first day of the week sunday onwards that's why meeting start date has given from sunday so on the recurrence you can see that has been given in such cases whatever the day of the week you have provided that is not taking care it is coming on the number of on the each alternative day it is going to be scheduling from sunday onwards right and attendees who are the attendees is required that has been given in the required and optional there you can find in the attendees and the organizer you can see the name of the organizer and the online meeting time zone all these properties has been defined in the response that is create team meeting response flow variable all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to create a meeting in microsoft teams by using created teams meeting action which is available under microsoft teams action as part of this tutorial